So we're just lining up at the moment uh, to go through the Simpson Bay Bridge. It only opens a few times a day, so we've got to be quick to get into the lagoon where it's nice and calm. We're going to anchor there for a few days. All right, Elena, explain. Okay, so we came to the bridge, we anchored in the Simpson Bay Lagoon, and it was Riley's parents, Riley's mum and stepdad came and visited us, and um, it was their first night, so we wanted to really treat them. We cooked them some crayfish, and that was all good, and then um, we dragged anchor. We just, we set the anchor with our sand, I just said anchor like five times, sand anchor, and um, we, we dragged anchor. <laughs> <laughs> In the morning we woke up and we'd actually washed up against the rocks so there was a weird tapping noise you could hear it on the keel and so we just came in on the anchor straight away and um, reset it so yeah the, the floor was completely mud and seaweed and Riley went to Budget Marine the next day. Island Waterworld. Island Waterworld and bought a new anchor which we were going to get anyway but that was the the last straw. The last straw. Yeah. I guess we could say. Uh, <laughs> What's going on, Riley? Well, I'm pretty sick of dragging anchor. Eh, so you've bought yourself a about a 45 ton bloody hunk of metal. This should keep us in. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope it does, Ross. What's the What's the name of the anchor? In case people are wondering. Manson Supreme. Manson Supreme. And um, it's way oversized for our boat, so we're not going to be going anywhere. We're in Maho Bay at the beach where the aeroplanes fly over your head, so. How are you going, Ralph? I'm alright. Here it comes! This is a big one. This is a big one. Some of our cruising friends took us to an old abandoned hotel. It was abandoned at some stage in the 1990s uh, because of a hurricane that came through, so it was left almost as is. Um, there were still shoes in the change rooms and knives and forks and cupcake holders in the kitchen. And it was a bit eerie, but we had a really good day exploring around. So cheers to Cedar and the fam. A lot of the travelling around Europe when we were there, it was difficult to get stuff done, language barriers and just, you know, they just do things a lot differently or there just wasn't the stores that we needed. St Martin is just unbelievable for getting work done to your boat. A guy told me the other day that it is the best place in the world to get work done to your boat and uh, it wouldn't surprise me. It's very easy, very good and yeah, if we you got need some to, stuff to done. Yeah, we nailed quite a few jobs. What's going on, guys? We're trying to get the chain through this tube, and it's very, very frustrating. Probably more difficult than it's worth. Are we getting there? Okay, so someone's told us that coat gets off the rust stains off the fiberglass. So 
Riles wants to put it to the test. We've got three Coke cans. Got your old original Coke, Diet Coke, and uh, Coke Zero. So, see how we go. That looks so like sends a tingle down my spine looking at that. If this works, I'll be that happy. If this stains, I will not be so happy. Ah, that won't stain. I'm just gonna leave that there. What do you think of the Coke? The Coke doesn't work. Uh, pretty much at all. We use some bicarb soda because we're trying to use natural sort of things and that sort of that gets up a bit of a foamy paste so you can you can clean pretty good with that. You can clean okay with that, but if you want to remove proper rust stains, this stuff here is unbelievable. So if anyone from FSR wants to call me up and pay me to advertise, I'll be more than happy to do so. <laughs> this stuff is just unbelievable. They like, yeah, you just pour a little bit on your rust stain and then come back in about half an hour and wipe it off and it's completely gone. So it's like turned my whole boat basically new again, which was, it was deteriorating quite quickly. So I'm pretty stoked. Awesome. What's going on, Cap? And for ending this rope because it's wore through at the top there where it goes through the little uh, eyelet. Well, this is a rolling hitch, so this is just so that you can feed your lines back through each other. So a rolling hitch at that end of the rope with your rolls on this side because you want to be pulling that way and then little half hitches on the end of it. So that as you're pulling, you're pulling from right at the top there so it'll feed through the sheaves and that more nicely, more better. Can you, you, can you hold that? Yeah. Pull that tight. Hold it together. This is a demonstration of Flip for Mac. Funding for this program is provided by Annenberg CDD to advance excellent teaching. This short video has been designed as an introduction to coming aboard the race cruiser La Vagabond. There was another wedding in Australia which I was unable to attend unfortunately so we invited Mousley and Ree over to spend their honeymoon on board La Vagabond. So they came over, met us in St Martin and we went up to Anguilla, ate a lot of seafood, did a fair bit of drinking, left them to their own devices on the odd evening so uh, I think I think they enjoyed themselves and we did too that was good fun yeah. <laughs> open another one we got some Morton Bay bugs and some what's what did you catch Trevally Trevally is that just one Philip yeah so this that. is lunch. We're all very excited. Now I want you. We can bring it on the floor. I've never danced like this before. We don't talk about it. Dancing on to the boogie all night long. Stalled in paradise, but we don't talk about it. I want you. We can bring it on the floor. Never danced like this. about it the longest winter for me no sun is shining and 
What did you get me? Snapper. A snapper! What's in the... Oh my gosh! I can't see. Snapper. Did you get another one? And after? trout. Is that a coral trout? Hi. Did you get another one after I left? Yeah, I got a decent sized groper. Who is my favourite fisherman? I waltz my Matilda or I forget the words. <laughs> 